Hello, dear friends. Congratulations to all who have got wonderful ranks. And with me today is Dr. Vishal, who has secured up 307 rank, All India, in this INICT number 24. First of all, congratulations. And do introduce yourself to the audience. Good evening, sir. My name is Vishal Murli Dharan. I did my MBBS from uh, Calicut Medical College. And I have, uh, I'm a 2018 batch student. So I'm a post intern, recently passed out this July. Okay, okay. So we will be having a spontaneous interview only. Not uh, much will be bothering you. But please tell like uh, how you find this particular exam and uh, uh, what are your uh, like outputs from this particular one that uh, which all should be emphasized and how to approach of this particular NICT paper. So, so I felt uh, this INSET paper was a bit more atypical in the sense that it resembled a bit neat, a bit more than previous INSET papers. Uh, okay. Factual questions were uh, comparatively higher in number compared to what we have seen in uh, previous years. And if I have to say, I would still say that the first and second years are still king. So you have okay. to have a good base knowledge of those as well as also not entirely ignoring uh, factual things like we think that it is just for need it is not so important for NSR however this has kind of this year has kind of disproved it so it is okay. important to study all aspects of a subject when we are preparing for it mm -hmm. any specific subjects you want to mention up that uh, that should be emphasized or uh, like uh, this time it have come more uh, tough more. and all that in this particular uh, microbiology microbiology was uh, most definitely overrepresented. although I felt that the questions as such weren't that hard, but it was definitely uh, way more than what we have seen in previous years. Ophthalmology, mm -hmm. ENT, uh, which were not uh, kind of not regarded as important subjects for NISET in the past, have been uh, given more importance, especially we compare it to May also. May Ophthal okay. was also given a lot of importance. So these two subjects have also been on the rise kind of. Okay, Mike, this uh, Ophtha and ENT you are telling, huh? Okay, okay. And uh, what about the clinical ones? Like uh, exactly clinical ones like uh, medicine, surgery, if you talk about them. Medicine, uh, this time uh, a bit more conceptual questions were asked. So okay. it is important have to have a good base of medicine as well as the pa paraclinical subjects as well, pre and paraclinical, so that we can use the knowledge we have derived from there to apply in this question as well. So medicine, I'd say you'd have to have a bit more of a holistic knowledge to attempt mm -hmm. the question this time. And what about the surgery and all? Surgery was actually kind of uh, underrepresented what I felt this time compared to what we've seen in the past. I think I had just around uh, 12 questions or such compared okay. to what we've seen in the previous like 18 questions for surgery. So I'd say it was a bit less this time compared to what we've seen. Achha, this one, it was a bit less. Okay. Yes, I thought, yeah. And what about the, those the short subjects and all? Nobody is telling about them. What is yeah. the psychiatry was psychiatry and dermatology were almost omitted this time entirely. Uh, okay. I think they were completely omitted. And radiology, I think the dermat, dermat, uh, which I am seeing up uh, mostly were overlap with the micro microbiology, like uh, yeah. yeah, the yeah. superficial mycosis and all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Similarly, I felt that uh, radiology had just one question from my memory. Mm -hmm. So most uh, the small subjects one, uh, but orthopedics, however, fell ortho and anesthesia, especially anesthesia is considered a low yield subject till now for mm -hmm. NSET came mm -hmm. a bit more this year. Achha. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how much was your attempt? Like how much you attempted up questions? It was on higher I side? Higher side, 195 questions I attempted. 195. Okay. Okay. So basically means uh, like we should be on the higher side and attempting the questions. Most definitely. Because, uh, as we are seeing the list in the percentile stuff, uh, for your rank also, it should be above 99 percentile. Then only you are yeah. having this particular rank. And uh, when 1122 one, marks also, a lot of differences in the ranks that they're coming. So I such a yeah. level of competition is there. Yes. So I think uh, the crux of the story is that uh, the smart approach should be there. Yes yeah. or no? And yeah. uh, 
like uh, you should not be relying on a single subject uh, so much that you ignore others and uh, no subject i suppose should be left what's left, your take yeah. on that yeah, most definitely because sometimes what we feel is an unimportant subject might suddenly come up in one exam and if that comes up and you say oh i thought it was unimportant till now right. but during the exam that doesn't matter what was what you thought was un- unimportant so it is and, most uh, definitely important okay yeah. and uh, i suppose uh, you are there in our online live dr dojos live yes sir batch and how yeah. you are finding that online live yes sir it is most definitely very uh, very helpful especially for interns and post interns like myself um, who do not have that much time like we had during ug time so right. in that uh, especially for our situations it is most definitely very helpful and the mm-hmm. fact that we get concise notes and we are able to we are able to get time to attempt mcqs after that which i think is the most important so i think it is most definitely a very appropriate pack for us mm-hmm. you were telling that you were giving the subject wise test yes sir of the top subject wise platform mm-hmm. yes sir as soon as i finished the subject i made sure to give uh, all the subject wise tests mini wise tests mini test related to that subject mm mm-hmm. like uh, you were telling me that uh, you have started late but still you are able to get such a rank like uh, you were telling uh, when you have started so this august uh, 2024 24 only and uh, that too you were telling uh, late only i suppose which month yeah uh, du- uh, during august during august you have joined up like online live and all and uh, after that uh, in such a time you have revised also and got us such a wonderful rank it's a wonderful rank for this like uh, in the starting uh, like it's an advice from my side like you must like m- might not be getting up in the first counseling uh, the desired subject which you want like what yeah. how, as such you tell me this like what's your desired subject and uh, what's your plans so my desired subject is most like uh, medicine itself Okay, medicine. So, only. if I get a good college uh, in medicine, I'll most definitely take it up. Okay, okay, okay. So, like for others also, what I'm telling up, uh, getting a rank within thousand in the aims. Uh, like now, peripheral aims are so much, and they are very good also. And certain mm-hmm. ones, they are very good actually. So, if you are not getting up in the aims, LA and all or other ones which you think are good. so peripheral is also a wonderful option for you and if you are getting your desired one in that particular this so definitely you should go for and uh, definitely not in the first one like in second third and later on they have the other uh, sessions also in them there is a very high chance that if you have such ranks you will get your desired subject for sure so that is there so do uh, like uh, chase up uh, the last rounds also and definitely you will have uh, the medicine i suppose uh, like it's, it's my wish also for you that you yes, get sir. your desired subject uh, yes, what sir. else you want to tell up in the last uh, regarding uh, your preparation or advice for your juniors and uh, how to approach and how to like definitely in every particular phase uh, you might be also down so how you avenge that and uh, how you managed all this particular journey in such a short time how you able to managed up uh, all these uh, revisions and all so some about that so Not sir much. i was uh, for uh, during because i had 3 months i made sure to study as much as i can so to i started around 10 hours per day increased to 12 slowly up to 16 hours towards the end so i'm important is rather than uh, giving a reading detail you must read multiple times uh, so that you can revise it again and again then most okay. importantly you have to give multiple uh, grand test multiple you have to solve multiple mcqs which i feel are the most important because if you don't give a grand test and go sit for the exam you're going to have a bad experience so right, right. study uh, and then also give mcqs side by side study uh, revise as much as you can as well it's my so basically advice. the crux of the story is again the same that revisions matter that how much yes. you revise and i suppose uh, smart study also yes sir Yes or no? Because in yes, such sir. a short time, you you can't get into depths for sure. You should yeah. have a base also before. Then only in such a short time you will be having some good ranks. Yeah. So the base should be there in this particular short ones and revisions. What you told that yeah. matters. Yes or yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So any other any other input uh, from your side? 
like you said, sir, uh, it is important to know what to study, especially for a test like I N S F, because past okay. year topics are uh, kind of overrepresented in this. P Y T S, huh? Previous PYTs. year's topics. Topics, not P Y T S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it more, but P Y T S are very important. So mm -hmm. especially in big subjects like for medicine, I didn't have time to study the entire subject. So okay. the P Y T S were most uh, gave me a guide as to what to study. Okay, 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 and. Uh... What about uh, the questions? How much your MCQs uh, revision? Like how much you are uh, trying for the MCQs every day? Every day you are solving up, or like it's a uh, like after ending up you solve. What what was the strategy regarding the MCQs and all? So so what I did was I gave a grand test, and then after grand test I used to focus on my weaker uh, subject. So that I used finished in around two to three days, and after this uh, second or uh, in the last day I gave a subject wise test. Okay. So that I could assess how much I've done. Then my next grand test, I'll assess the week, next week's subject. It will go go so on and so on till I've ca ca gone from the bottom up. Okay. Okay. So as such, uh, out of nineteen, which is your favorite, and uh, which is the subject which you find really tough? Uh, my favorite and subject would be um, medicine. Only, pathology. Huh? Huh? Pathology. Which one? Actually, I felt pathology, pathology was okay. 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 And my least would be community medicine. Community medicine. Okay. Okay. So you paired well in uh, that particular one. So what strategy you have uh, adopted for that uh, PSM and all? Because PSM, I suppose, uh, yeah. came only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, came, but kind of less than what we kind expected. Of. Okay. And biostats, so, which was a, a major uh, topic for AIMS in the past, didn't mm -hmm. come this time. And I think it uh, didn't come much for the uh, May session either. So I think mm -hmm. we're kind of seeing a shift from biostat towards uh, subjects like Oftal, ENT, etc. Mm -hmm. So in the end, I like to ask once again, like uh, how you uh, see our this neat PG online live of Doc Tutorials. Th Will you recommend to your colleagues or your juniors that particular? Yes, sir. I will most experience? definitely recommend because it is very important, especially when you do not have that much time, that you are able to get all the material you need, as well as having uh, revising it multiple times and getting time to solve MCQs as well. Because uh, yeah, that is the main uh, game plan of this test, as in to repeat these things over and over again, solve MCQs. That's the only way you can yeah. get a good rank. So I suppose uh, you must have got from uh, Dr. Vishal the crux of the things that it's all about revision and it's all about smart studies. Don't linger awesome. on in a subject and uh, do all of them because you don't know on that day which particular subject yeah. will come more. Okay, so yeah. you can't leave any subject. So this way, which yeah. which I tell everybody that uh, people they tend to do like they will not do the short subjects and all. Because mm. uh, as you can see the list today also, it is like wide open in the public that even one one two two marks is uh, bringing your rank in thousands. Okay, like yeah. the difference of uh, two three marks also makes the rank uh, going way forward. So yeah. I suppose you can list on any, and it's all about smart studies and revisions. And uh, in the last, thank you so much, Dr. Vishal, and very best thank of you luck. So much, sir. And thank do you, sir. chase up your dreams. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.